Hi, and welcome to Chronically Beautiful, where we're trying to live our best life, even though we probably don't feel like it. And we are doing some more fall crafting today. I'm just loving crafting right now. It is feeding my soul and just, it's awesome. So I started with this maple leaf wood cutout I got at the Dollar Tree, and I am just going to paint it with some of this antique wax that I got from Michael's. It's their like store brand. And I think it's only $1.99 for this little bottle. Everybody uses like Waverly antique wax, blah, blah, blah. I cannot find Waverly paints at my local Walmart or anywhere. They're sold out all over the place and this works. It's there and it's beautiful. So this is just like a stain, but it doesn't smell like stain and it goes on super easy and it's just like really easy to use. So just throwing that on there with one of those little spongy brushes, which was like, I don't know, 20 cents or something. So it's just a nice little way to start the project. And I'm not worrying about filling in the little hanger hole on the top because I know that I've got flowers that are going to cover that up. So I'm just not too worried about it. paint both sides of that just so it doesn't look crappy on the back and I have these little wood cubes that also came from Dollar Tree I painted those with the wax as well I'm just using those as kind of a riser to give me a little bit of height off of the wreath form because I don't want it to lay flat I want it to be a little bit more 3d and I glued those on now I wish I would have kind of laid out where the wreath was going to be first and then glued them on because I did end up having to pull a couple of them off and re-glue them but it was all right, it wasn't a big deal. Um, and then I just have it where I want to have it pop up off of the wreath. And then I flipped it over to see where it was actually going to lay. And again, you can see that there were some spots that it didn't lay right, so I had to pull them off. Once I had it laid out the way I wanted, I went through and I put a little blob of glue under the wreath form. Um, and pushed it down onto there and then I also went through and put little globs of glue on top to just kind of encase the whole thing in glue and give it just some extra sturdiness and it has held very strong it's been outdoors and it's been fine the glue gun I'm using by the way is a sure bonder glue gun which I got for like five dollars at Menards you have a Menards near you, their glue guns are really reasonably priced. The same one I think is like $13 at Meyer, so good stuff. Now I'm just taking a little bit of twine that I had from the Dollar Tree and I glued it on the back and I'm just wrapping it around the stem of the leaf because I feel like that just gives it a little extra something, don't you think? And I'm just gluing the ends on. It's those little details that kind of take a homemade project from good to great, I think gives it more of a high-end look, more details, and it doesn't take that much time. And it took like, you know, a nickel's worth of twine with that. I have this burlap leaf from the Dollar Tree and I'm just taking an ink pad that I had already on hand. This is from Close to My Heart and I'm just going through and kind of distressing the leaf because it just looked a little too new and clean for me and I wanted it to have a different look and then I'm just tucking the little holder part which is like a bendy kind of stuff and I just tucked it into the twine and then hit it with a little bit of hot glue be careful because it will squeeze through the burlap and burn your little fingies And then I had this awesome little thing. These were at Dollar Tree this year, and I used the Dollar Tree like fix-all adhesive glue, which is a dupe pretty much for the E6000. So I used that 
because I knew this was going to be outside and then I also went through and filled in the gaps with hot glue because that gives it an immediate bond. So the other glue gives it a lasting bond and the hot glue gets it to stick right now. And these little things are so cute. It came in a three pack that said like welcome, harvest, and something else. I don't remember. Thankful maybe. And then I'm just weighing it down. Got my, my, my florals here. Oh, magic. These are all from the Dollar Tree. And I'm really loving this kind of fall palette that's not super bright. I really liked these. They're, they're mums, I guess you could call them. Um, and then I had a couple of little floral picks that they also had. And then once I lay everything out the way I like it, I kind of go through and tuck. I lay all my flowers out first just to get it the way that I want it. And then I kind of take them off and set them nearby off to the side of the project if that makes sense and then I go through and glue everything on. I do the same thing when I scrapbook. I kind of lay it out first and then move it off to the side and then redo it. It always ends up being a little different when I actually glue but that's okay. I don't like to just start gluing without having an idea of what I'm doing here. And sometimes on these wire wreath forms I like to coat it with burlap first or something of that nature but I knew that I was going to be using so many flowers on this project that I didn't need to do that. And then I also started going in behind the wreath and adding extra hot glue because there, there isn't a whole lot for the flowers to stick to because it's just wire. So once I got them stuck down, I did a, a coating of glue over top of the wire as well to just give it some extra hold. And again, this wreath has been outdoors now for a couple of weeks and it's been doing really well. So just don't be shy with the hot glue. I did find it easier to put the glue on the wire instead of the flower because then you know it's exactly where it needs to be in order for the flowers to stick. All of these flowers and picks were from the Dollar Tree, but of course you can always find them at Michael's or Joann's. And the further you get into the season, the more likely you are to find florals on sale. They usually always go to 70 or 80 70 or 80 percent off at the craft stores. Same with Hobby Lobby. So if you missed out on finding the fall florals at your Dollar Tree, you can definitely find them for cheap at your local craft stores. Finally, I went in with this little raffia bow uh, that I made from some raffia I had left over from last year from the Dollar Tree, and I just thought it gave it just a, a little cute little embellishment. You could use any kind of little bow there. You could put a bow anywhere. I mean, honestly, there's no wrong answer when it comes to doing this stuff. You could choose any flowers, any embellishments, any bows, any ribbons. I don't know what you're looking at here. There we go. And then once I finish it, I, I kind of set it up and look, and then I see where there's holes that need to be filled in. And here I'm going around. I always save a few extra flowers uh, because there might be places I want to fill in the gaps. And then here I'm trying to decide, do I want to add the leaves that I had? I always save the leaves, even if I don't know that I'm going to use them. And then I just went around and stuck these all around to the outside. You can't see them a ton, but it just gives it a little bit more dimension. It adds a little different pop of color. You can see it around the edges just a bit. And then again, I'm going in and adding just that extra blue to the backs of the flowers that I feel like aren't hanging on super well. You'll notice I don't have a big giant bow anywhere on this wreath or a ribbon hanger. Sometimes I just like a wreath that's like mainly flowers. And I thought with the leaf in the middle and all of the embellishments in the center of this wreath, I really didn't need to add anything more to the outside of it. My last step here, I am just gobbing on the glue so there is no chance that anybody will let go. I 
and here is my finished product. I was so happy with how this one turned out. I'm in love with it. I hope that you are able to come up with something just as cute for your harvest decor, but I just love how this turned out and it was probably less than 10 bucks to make the whole thing. And go look at your craft store and see how expensive wreaths are. They are out of control, so yay. I really hope you enjoyed this. Good luck with your next fall project. Keep coming back and take care of you.